Hello, uh, this is Brian Colbeck with Rubisco Seeds. Uh, Rubisco Seeds is a primary supplier of winter canola genetics to uh, U.S. farmers for the last 15 years. Uh, uh, here we are today in uh, southwestern Indiana in one of our uh, uh, advanced germplasm research sites. This particular site here, uh, we have consecutive data since 2006 at this site, which is very important for farmers uh, to see the trends over multiple years with uh, different germplasm. Uh, we usually have 17 or 18 new hybrids we evaluate every year for the North American market. We also do this evaluation in the Southern Plains and in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, all those data points are very important uh, where we gather winter hardiness, of course, uh, seed yield, and of course, then oil content data uh, uh, after harvest. Uh, today, uh, it's uh, here at the end of February. I think it's the 23rd of February today. Um, temperatures, air temperatures around 55, soil temperatures are not far behind that today here. Uh, the crop here uh, today is just starting to come out of winter. We had some uh, pretty cold uh, conditions here in uh, mid-January where it got to, uh, I think, negative 2 Fahrenheit without any snow cover. And uh, you can see uh, the leaves here on the crop are a little bit bleached, uh, some of them, and some of them are desiccated. Uh, uh, so these are older leaves that will fall off, uh, but the new leaves down in the crown area is, are very healthy. The crowns are very, very tight and close to the ground, which is a very important feature for winter survival. Uh, so you can see uh, these plants, while they look, uh, you know, from the distance, don't look so good. When you get down and investigate, these are in a very healthy shape. We just put the fertilizer on here in the in the last uh, looks like last couple of days here. Put on its first split of nitrogen and uh, yeah, and uh, you know other nutrients, nitrogen and sulfur, I think, and boron went on here. And then we'll come back with some more in, in March. Uh, but really, at this point, in a couple of weeks, we expect to see some pretty good green up here. Uh, we're pretty excited about uh, uh, these plots here and our plots generally throughout the country this year. And uh, with this increased uh, emphasis on renewable diesel and sustainable aviation fuel, uh, we feel very uh, uh, very positive about the way things are developing in winter canola. And hopefully we can uh, see some growth, in, uh, especially in the winter canola areas of the south, where we can plant this crop in the fall and then double crop with soybeans. And then you can really make some decent uh, amounts of vegetable oil per acre, you know, upwards of 200 gallons of vegetable oil per acre uh, when you uh, grow a crop winter canola and follow with a double crop soybeans. So anyway, I'm pretty excited, as I said, and uh, this looks good here today. And uh, thank you for watching.